Hey there, this is Marius from F3DP, and I've got something special to share with you today. Peak Maxi recently provided me with the longer LK5 Pro 3D printer, a machine that's been on the market for over two years now. It was quite intriguing to dive into testing a 3D printer that's considered old in the rapidly evolving world of technology. However, I was also curious to see how this large Bowden extruder printer held up in 2023. First things first, let's talk about assembly. Putting together the longer LK5 Pro is a breeze and should take you no more than an hour. The build is robust, and those two struts do a commendable job at keeping things steady, preventing any wobbling in the upper layers. For our initial test print, we decided to go with a Benchy, a benchmark model to evaluate basic functionality. It quickly became evident that despite improvements in the hot end, ventilation remains a bit of a challenge for this printer. Throughout my testing journey, I made several enhancements to the 3D printer. These included adding a 3D touch sensor for automatic bed leveling, printing parts to better tension the belts, and even installing a handy shelf beneath the printer for storage. Additionally, I connected the longer LK5 Pro to Creality Sonic Pad to make it clipper compatible, and I threw in a camera and some snazzy LEDs for good measure. The installation of the Sonic Pad surprised me with its speed, and its resonance measurement did an impressive job compensating for the printer's vibrations. Creality provides Kura profiles for the Sonic Pad, making customization a breeze. For a real challenge, I decided to upscale the small Kelly Dragon to a whopping 35 centimeters and printed it with a layer height of 0.28. After nearly 15 hours, I was greeted with an impressive result, though there were still some minor issues stemming from cooling problems. Now, after spending countless hours with the longer LK5 Pro, it's time to share my initial verdict. This 3D printer currently retails for around 200 euros and offers a substantial build volume of 300 by 300 by 400, which is quite a deal. However, I must also point out the downsides, especially when compared to the competition. Recent models from Elegoo and Sobel, while slightly pricier, offer significantly better features and performance. In the same price range, you can even find the older Sidewinder X2 from Artillery, which boasts a fast heating bed, a direct drive extruder, and even a second motorized X-axis. Thanks for tuning in. If you'd like to see more reviews like this in the future, please hit that subscribe button and give us a thumbs up. Until next time.